What's up guys, in this video I am going to show you that how you can add color swatches in your Shopify store. So currently on my screen you can see that I have already added uh, for this specific product and we have different colors for each of the t-shirt. So you can also see different colors, uh, swatches and on the left hand side we have some images too. So in the same way we will be doing in this video. So I have already uh, written a blog post so you only need to copy and paste the code and then you are done with everything. Thing. But before copying and pasting the code, you should follow all the steps which I will be showing you in this video. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to go to your Shopify dashboard and here I am going to click on products. So I'm going to create a new product here, click on add, add product. And then for example, I am adding here t-shirt. All right, then you need to add some description. Then you should click on media. So I'm going to select one image here. And then after you should add some price. For example, I am adding 20 US dollars. Then after you need to add some uh, availability of uh, quantity. I mean, how many uh, products you have. Then after you should go down and click on variants. And here we are interested to select the color. So you should click here. For example, we have blue, red and yellow. All right. So once you are done with everything, then you should also check here. This is also something which is uh, I mean uh, quantities of all the t-shirts and once you are done with this then after you should click on this drop down and click on active and finally you can also select any specific collection but for now we don't have we are not interested to select any kind of uh, collection <coughs> so now you need to click on save changes so once you your changes are saved then the second step is you should go to settings here you have meta fields click on that then we have variants and then click on add definition and here we need to click on uh, add color all right and here you should uh, write color dot values all right so once you are done with this, then you can add description for representing this specific meta field. But for now, we are not interested to. So let's click on select content type. Let's click on color. And once you are done, then you need to click on save. So our meta field is created. Now let's return back to our products. So here you can see that we have this t-shirt. Let's click on it and then scroll it down and click each of the uh, product which we have I mean each of the variant so let's click on edit and here we need to select some images so you already know that uh, we needed here blue t-shirt so click on add image click on add image then we have blue and once you are done with this then you need to click on uh, done button so this image is uploading up till now let's click on done and then you should uh, scroll it down and down below you will be getting this meta field color so since this is blue color so i am going to select the blue color here then after click on save so we are done with this specific variant now let's return back and then select the second variant which is red then let's add one more image for this red uh, for this red color we have actually already uh, one red color so we have no need to uh, add additional we can select this one or this one any of this then done then you should scroll again down and click on color since we are interested to use the red one so here we have red then click on save so all the changes has been saved now let's move ahead with the third variant which is yellow and click on add image and click on add image and then we have this yellow t-shirt once this is uploading then again you should do the same step which is done oh wait wait a minute so make sure that you, this should be uploaded first and then you should select then scroll it down and we have color and since we are interested to keep this yellow and then click on save changes so once everything is done then you need to go to your online store uh, edit code but before that let's check our product that how it is looking so this is the t-shirt select this and now you can see that we have blue red and yellow all right now we are interested to modify some code and in that way 
we could see the actual uh, design which we are interested to. So here you can see that we have select, uh, clicked on themes, then you should click on actions, click on edit code, and then we have some folders here, click on sections. Down below you will be getting something which is man-product.liquid. You should find line number 202. So here you can see that we have line number 202, 203 and 204. So what we are going to do is we are going to copy this code. I will be adding the link below in the description. So this is the blog post. So I am going to copy this and then I need to replace all these three lines. So I'm going to delete this and then paste new lines of code, which I have just copied from my blog. Then click on save. Once you are clicking on save, so these changes are saved now. So let's refresh this page again. Now we are done. You can see that we have blue, we have red and we have uh, yellow. All right. Here you can see that we have different colors. Yes, that's done. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel and also like this video. So thank you so much once again. See you in the next video.